From WSMV-TV Channel 4, this is More at Midday. Good afternoon and welcome to More at Midday on this Tuesday. Hope you're having a great afternoon. I'm Holly Thompson <laughs> along with Tim Ross over here. We've got uh, visiting dignitaries and management in the studio. I wonder, why is Tim looking over here? I said, well, I'm, I just always get distracted easily. <laughs> Any, I'm like a little kid. Anything going on in the studio, we have to yeah. stop everything so he can if focus. A, if there's a diversion, <laughs> in all the room, oh, this is how goodness. bad it's gotten for me. These are empty chairs over here I'm laughing at. <laughs> but they don't laugh back at me, so it's, it's better than most groups. Yeah. Okay, we got some fun stuff today, though, right? We Speaking do. Hey, laughing. let me just say one name. If I said it, if I said Norm, does that conjure up some funnies? I think it Norm does. McDonald, we'll add that. <laughs> Get ready to laugh, folks. He has so many credits to his name, but you know him best, of course, from Saturday Night Live's weekend update segments. Funny man, Nora McDonald's at our studios today, and we're going to see what he's up to these days and when you can catch him at Zany's. So, fun and stuff ahead. Norm, you know what I was thinking about? Those chairs are there that are empty. At least they don't boo back at you. You know, yeah. yeah, you tell a funny, as long as you laugh, it's funny. But a better idea would be, <laughs> instead of a bunch of empty chairs, no chairs. Yeah. No chairs. It would probably drive the point home, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, where were we? Oh, for, What's next? Look, see, hey, now Norm interrupted me there. Are you ready for yeah, some festive holiday fun? Oh, yeah, it's time for the Gaylord Country Christmas. Oh, ooh, yeah. country Christmas time out in Gaylord. And one of the most popular events, of course, it's the Radio City Christmas Spectacular. The world famous Rockettes, they are back. We have some of them in the studio with us today. So I don't know if they're going to be teaching me any kicks, but they're at least going to tell us all about the fun that you can enjoy. Some, <clears throat> some big stuff oh, for you. Oh, don't worry, Holly. We, the guys and I, we just get a kick out of seeing them here. <laughs> You know, I think they're better looking than Norm McDonald, although he's oh. pretty handsome hunk, too. So. Oh. Do you oh. dance, Norm? This What's is that? bad. <laughs> Can you dance? Will you dance? Funky hey, where chicken, are we? Funky chicken, baby. The funky chicken. Hey, <laughs> the funky chicken. chicken. You're talking my talk. <laughs> Norm and I are going to get along fine. I'm just going to we'll get We'll be in up. the home before the day is over. We're getting along fine. Uh, see, oh, oh, i got to mention, uh, David Griffin's here. You know mm -hmm. David. From The Biggest Loser. He's going to be cooking up some great tasty dishes for us today. The cool thing is, they're healthy, too. So, he's going to give us the scoop. And he says he's not all that fabulous in the kitchen. That's why these recipes are so simple. So, anybody can make it, including myself. And he's going to give us a little clue, some little uh, tips for us in the kitchen. Just it's a good thing Norm and I didn't grow up together. We're really bad for each other. You can feel the energy, yeah, I can't can you? Tell. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason they let me out of high school is they didn't want me hanging around another year. <laughs> good way to get your diploma. <laughs> Not good. How's our weather today? Yeah, looking good out there. Will you have true. some? I saw you hanging around the high school the other day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you got to wait for your line. He's, ta he's talking on my time now, Tom. <laughs> hey, no, you're fine. Hey, I was going to mention we do have some clouds out there. Finally, a few shots. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, I only have to work five minutes. I got a good contract. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh no, I'll be around. Be yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they sequester me far away at the, this point in the program. 56 degrees in Nashville today, and that's about what you can expect all around the region. Man, do we have some changes heading our way the next few days, and we will delineate those in the seven-day forecast. We'll do that shortly. I'm cutting in on Norm's time here. Holly, it's all yours again. I'll quit. <laughs> all right, Jim. Thank you. For five seasons, Americans tuned into NBC to watch Norm McDonald deliver the fake news from the Saturday Night Live weekend update, Anchor Desk. You may remember him best for his hilarious characters, characterizations of Bob Dole and Burt Reynolds, among so many others. But today, we have the man himself, the real Norm McDonald, all to ourselves. Norm, welcome to more at midday. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, I was going to say, but that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, it wouldn't make any sense. But well, we are glad you're here. Unless you're pregnant and I didn't know about uh, Yeah, well, I'm not. So you don't have to worry about that. Excellent. All right, so have you ever been to Nashville before? Zanies, big deal. Yeah, no, I've never been to Nashville, but I'm a huge uh, uh, fan of old country music. So you I'm, are. I want to I find Billy Joe Shaver. I love Billy Joe Shaver. So if he's in okay, town. So if you're in town, to Billy Joe Shaver. <laughs> Come on, Try man. Give me some respect. Look, I know every one of your See songs. if we can find that fella. All right. Well, talk about your beginnings. This is interesting when I was reading about you. First of all, you have two siblings who are newscasters. Yeah. Far from being stand-up comedians. No, yeah. They, 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 yeah. My one brother, he goes to war zones. He's crazy. He just likes to go to war zones. And uh, I tell him not to go there because I find in war zones often there's wars. <laughs> Yeah, and you're so right. I, I would be, I would say that's the worst zone you could choose. <laughs> of all the zones. Yeah, there's so many zones, one. you know. 
<laughs> Are you on the zone? Yeah, I'm not on the zone. Not on that zone. Thank no. goodness. But let's talk about because when you first started, he would even say you used to hyperventilate before you went out there. I mean, were you really nervous? Did the crowds make you nervous? The crowds make me nervous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, no, I'm just getting to the stage. Once I'm on stage, there's no crowd. It's just You're me. You're fine. But I'm just trying to get through all the people. I get nervous. <laughs> really? Yeah. Now. Because I'm afraid I'll bump into a guy and he'll want to fight. <laughs> then you're in trouble, right? Yeah, that happens a now, lot. Now, when folks see you all the time, do they always take you back to your Saturday Night Live days, or what do they say to you? Uh, they uh, No, they can't take me back. What, you mean in a time machine? Yeah, n no, but when they're talking with you, is that what they're always bringing up, or what do you hear them referencing? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I hear them referencing, but I'm much more interested in the time machine concept. <laughs> Yeah, I, as a matter of fact, why nice. aren't we, you know, we keep talking about our problems and the administration and all this stuff and where the money's going. Why isn't any of the money going to creating a time machine? <laughs> well, I've been hearing about it ever since I was a kid. I've been waiting for the you time see machine. You about it, right? Yeah, and yet it never comes up on the campaign trail. And <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. I, I don't know. I would love that. Where do you get your content? How do you, you know, come up with all your topics? What do you do? Well, I don't know, like... I'm telling you one thing, man, it would be so, so easy with a time machine because I could go ahead, I could see what was about to happen, then I could make a joke and people would go, this guy's good. Well, yeah. Well, then you could also see which of your jokes were going to fail and then you wouldn't do those when you went that's back. That's exactly so you, right. Yeah, you know exactly. what would work and what wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. You could read the crowd better. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, you work on that. Meanwhile, Maybe we'll do they better. got, ooh, the computer, ooh, we made a computer. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And meanwhile, all the time machine funds were diverted. Well, that's America. America, thanks. <laughs> now, people know your voice. Is yeah. that kind of odd? When well, you're, when well, people know your they, voice. Well, I don't play characters outside of myself. Like, uh -huh. you actually are, what all of you done? You've oh, Lucky, done. Dog, and yeah. then Dr. Doolittle, Dog. the genie, and the fairly genie. odd, yeah, partner, all that. Yeah, so, yeah. do you enjoy doing these? Voice. Uh, the, the voice work? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's like retired work. You just walk, <laughs> you it's walk the easy into stuff. Yeah, you just talk. You can't help but not talk. Try not talking. <laughs> That's well, it's a little tough. bit different. Yeah, those monks, they're the ones that be, should be making the big money. <laughs> what is going to be next for you? What are you wanting to do? You want to get back into sitcoms? Or? Uh, I'd probably just go over there, have a coffee. Yeah, <laughs> just chill out. You know what I, I don't yeah. mean within the next five minutes. Oh, oh, about, yeah. I thought you were talking about the next five minutes. I'm going to see the Rock Cats. Yeah. You know, I'm going to see the biggest loser. You know what's uh, odd about the biggest loser? I just realized. Here's a show. A guy's trying to lose weight and everything, you know, maybe he's 400 pounds. Like, so they kick the guy off that l loses the least weight. Right right? right. right. So he only loses 20 pounds. They're like, get out. And now he weighs 380 and he feels even worse about himself. And, <laughs> and he weighs less than he did. Yeah, so. he did good. He still did good. But now he has to go home and he can't do it anymore. It is sad, isn't it? Yeah, I know kinda. you see him all tear up. Yeah, kind of. I'm sure you could get their phone numbers and call them and cheer them up. Yeah, you know. yeah, that'd be great, man. <laughs> I haven't got enough big fat guys in my life. I need more on my, on my Blackberry. <laughs> well, you know, just give the show a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to hook you guys up. And you can become great friends about? with them. Why are you laughing? I'm not. I think you, you're a funny man. You're and a funny girl. And I think you can girl. become great friends with all of them. Yeah. All right. So uh, what What's do you, the fattest what are you person you know? <laughs> okay. We're not, this isn't about me. Let's talk about you. Oh, yeah. So uh, would you like to do more Saturday Night Live? If they were to call you up and say, hey, yes. come back. Sure, of course. you to do it. Yeah, do it right away. It's do you miss the news? Do you miss the uh, camaraderie? I miss the, it's so, just such a simple job pretty easy to just sit up there and... Well, it's five minutes a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, pretty nice. Yeah, you can't beat those hours. <laughs> I don't know how many minutes are in a week. I'm no math genius, you know, but uh, I think over a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, doing, I'm not doing much. Not a whole lot of work, for yeah. sure. All right, Norm McDonald's performing out at Zany's again. That's tonight are you and coming? tomorrow night. <laughs> It's come? too late for me, my friend. You don't know what time I go to bed. <laughs> show start at 7.30. But what about me? You think I, you, I'm getting up 16 hours before my show. <laughs> Give them a call at 269 for you. Or you can link to their website through the Mark Midday section of ours. Just go to WSMV.com. I'm All staying. Right. I'm not going. <laughs> you want me to stay or go? <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah, we will need you to go in just a minute, but we're glad you're here. You can uh, stick around over there, though. I bet I'll stay. <laughs> Norm, thanks. All right. Hey, wait, you're not supposed to move yet. Still ahead. <laughs>
start practicing your high kick. We have the world famous radio you city rockets right know, here in our studio. Word, Stay with us right here on Mars Midday. All right, now you can get up. Go Thanks, me. No go, girl. <laughs>